Hey, Coach, I can't see a gold darn thing in here. There's a very simple explanation for that, Bat. There's no light in here. Now quit worrying. You sure we're not going to wind up in some municipal pound, Coach? Of course I'm sure, Bat. Here comes the light now. Look. It's okay in there, all of you. You can come out now. Don't be afraid. <laughs> come on! Don't be afraid! See anything, Chi-Chi? Negative! There should be a welcoming committee. I'll go take a look and report back. Good idea. I'll join you. Get down, Casper! Get down! Casper, you've got to stay on the ground. We have to keep your special abilities under wraps. Well, I want to see that Katzer exhibitionist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Fox, the coach is a mite touchy about racial cracks. All right, team. Let's see you. Line up. Come on. <laughs> Follow me to the stadium. Welcome to Soccerville Stadium and our first elimination match of the day, Russia versus England. The Russian team is lining up to greet the public and will present their starting formation, wearing number one, the world-famous goalie Medved. Number two on the defense, the Siberian Tiger, Sasha Nastikov. Backfielders, Boris the Horus and Ivan Togolhomsky. The midfielders, known worldwide by their Russian nicknames, are Fedya Misha Vanya and Fanya. I don't see our team's name on the board. Uh, I'm worried. I'll go check to see if they're registered. I'll go with you. You're sure to foul things up. The lightning-like striker, number nine, Ilya Ryanofersky. Number 10, coordinator of the attack, the clever Oleg Spechu. Number 11, the popular favorite, the Moscow Mink, known, of course, as Minsky. And here comes the English team on the field now, headed by their famous vulpine goalie who retired from a previous sport for reasons of hell. Following him is number two, the Irish-born Ovine, and the crowd pleaser, Monk Chips, also an atomic physicist, which explains his nickname, Nuclear Fish and Chips. Falling down from the sky right now is the cocky Chicken Little, who likes to take center stage, but he's interrupted by hard butter buttress of the defense. Here's another favorite, Barley Man, the prancing pony, who's followed by the midfield trio of Yasha Flosh and Dacha. Uh, no, no, sorry, folks. Make that Henry Abbott and Edward. But the squirrel and the substitute, the prolope, round out the side. The teams are headed back to their benches for last minute instructions from their coaches and will soon be in the way. It's a beautiful day here at Soccerville Stadium, folks, and the atmosphere is pulsating with excitement as these two great teams of world soccer prepare to square off and get down to it. Mr. Pinder of the Chinese Soccer Federation is our referee today. He's talking things over with the two line judges and taking a look at his watch. We must nearly be ready for the kickoff. <laughs> That's it.
it. The teams are in position. The referee takes a last look around, and there's the whistle. Let's get right down on the field and into the action. <laughs> Was that you before? Well, bonjour to you, and how can I help you? I've come here to inquire about registering a team, the jungle team. Are you the head of the delegation? Uh, no, I guess Winner is, but I'm almost his assistant. Can you tell me how many members your delegation is composed of? Uh, huh? Uh, um, oh, uh, this is all bureaucratic nonsense. What's it matter? Well, it's just normal procedure. Officious puppycock. Can you ever forgive her? She's terribly eager to see our team properly registered, and that makes her forget her well, manners. I'm still in time. Professor! Thank heavens, if it had been much later, <laughs> they might not have accepted us. <gasps> Chi Chi, Katzburg, hi, hi. Who are you guys? I thought you were still in the jungle. You look great, Chi Chi. Oh, by the way, where is everyone? I... Genius, that's exactly what everyone's trying to find out. Now then. If you want to know what's going on here, the least you can say is please. Uh, you having a bad day or something, Chi Chi? We're here, Uncle Genius. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
for me? Would you stay here and take care of the paperwork? I really hate to ask you. I know it's a bore. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> no sacrifice too great. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Oh. May I introduce myself to you? Uh, I have the honor of being the yeah. official representative, the ombudsman, the factotum, the grand panjandrum, and general dog's body of Africa One. Then you have some forms to fill out. The name's Mark Anthony Julius Fox, and you are, my dear? Estelle de Guadalupe Iriarte de Gonzalez. Oi! My friends call me Stella. <laughs> Uh, may I have the privilege of considering myself a member of that undoubtedly highly select club? Oh, my pleasure. Now then, let us face the burning issues of the day and undertake them with alacrity. Chief amongst them being, of course, what time do you get off work? I quit at seven. <laughs> well? I'll meet you in the parking lot. He'll give you a run for your money, girly, and I'll give you two to one you'll regret eating, Mr. Fox. And what's more, what's going on here? Are you using this place as a clearinghouse for trysts? Is she a friend of yours? Slut! Huh? Don't come crying to me when the chips are down! <laughs> Those are the passes for Africa One. <laughs> Let her just walk out of your life, pal. Uh, <coughs> Stella! Uh, uh, I... Stella, where are you? <sighs> Oi! Stella! <sighs> oh, there you are, you little dumpling, you. <laughs> <gasps> Look, sweetie, here I am. You don't blame me for what that canary said, do you? Oh, no. I could never do that. You know what, Dax? Look, you need a man around. Mm. Around 7.30? Oh, Mavernine, you truly have the gift of the gab, don't you? I'll be waiting at the fountain with bells on. Oh, my. My. <laughs> My dear winner, I suggest we repair to the stadium henceforth. Ill would it behoove us not to study our adversaries' tactics. Ill I am charmed by your ability to mock me in unison. May you show the same coordination when you're out there on the field. And now, we're going to enter the stadium to the strains of the jungle song. Long live the moon! Long live the sun! Long live the jungle where life is fun! Long live the fog! Long live the rain! Long live life at a pace that's sane! Friends we are! Brothers all! Ready to answer the jungle's call! Life is good! Life is free! Life we owe to our mother tree! Soccer fans everywhere, that was quite a first half we had in the Russia-England game. A miraculous save by the English goalie took care of the only real scoring opportunity either side has had up till now. There's some commotion going on in the stands below me, folks. Maybe some dignitary has entered the stadium. I'll try to get some news for you. The players of the Africa One team are entering the stadium now, folks, and the 
spectators are going wild. Like that. Huh? Winner! Winner! Oh. I thought I'd never see you again. Oh, oh. oh. oh Simba! Oh. Winner! Oh, gosh! Oh, gosh! Winner! <laughs> The Africa One team's entrance into the stadium looks more like a family reunion, and the crowd is lapping it up. Are they <laughs> Yes, they are, my darlings. Yes, they are. Sensational players and is going to give everyone a hard time. And now I see the referee is about to blow the whistle to kick off the second half of the Russia England game. Have anybody like that? Huh? Huh? Oh sure, we've got plenty of excellent elements. 
Give me a name. Um, oh, um... Uh, it's a secret, okay? Now, how about all those uh, diagrams and notes? Oh, well, they're simply doodles. You see that guy? Down there in the fourth row, oh. looking up this way through binoculars? Oh. He's a spy for the German team. They're spying on you? Sure, and I'm confusing him by pretending to take meaningful notes. Uh, what was meaningful? Shh, big fat mouth. <laughs> <laughs> if you want the world to know something, <laughs> tell genius. Russia 1 0, and what a game it was! The players are shaking hands and exchanging shirts! And tomorrow, a game we've all been looking forward to Germany versus Africa 1! The Africa 1 team.